Welcome to EpiInfo 7 training. In this video, you'll get an overview of performing a 2x2 table analysis in the Visual Dashboard. You should use 2x2 tables when you're looking for an association between a binary exposure and a binary outcome, such as if a person ate a certain food or not, or if they got sick or not. You're looking at a spreadsheet of the data we collected on a fictitious foodborne illness investigation. Each row represents a single person, and the columns indicate if the person became ill and if they consumed a variety of foods. We'll use this data set to run the 2x2 two two table analysis. Now I'll close the spreadsheet and go to the Visual Dashboard in Epi Info 7. I've already set the data source in Epi Info 7, as you can see here at the top of the page. Now we'll use a 2x2 two two table analysis to test each food exposure for an association with being ill. I'll right-click on the dashboard and go to the 2x2 two two table analysis gadget, and I'll choose Exposure and Outcome. Of course, the outcome is ill, and the exposure will just use the top of the list, ham, and run the analysis. Looking at the output, the quadrants here on the left show that 26% ate ham and got ill. 40% didn't eat ham and still got sick. I'll close the configuration panel, and you can see other statistics, p-value, chi-square, and others. Well, the data I have isn't exactly decisive, so let's look at the next variable. We'll do a 2x2 two two table on the next item in the list. So our outcome is ill, and our exposure is lettuce. This time, 52% of the lettuce eaters got ill. Since this is a high probability of being a vehicle for the illness, let's look at the odds ratio. It's 5.5, and since its lower confidence limit is greater than 1, this allows us to say that lettuce is associated with illness. But we still have quite a few foods left on our list, and we need to look at each one. It would be tedious to do a 2x2 two two table for each one, so I'll define a variable group which allows me to take a shortcut. Mouse over the Defined Variables tab on the left side of the dashboard, click New Variable, and at the bottom I'll click Create Variable Group. I need to name the group. I'm going to call this Foods. I'll need to highlight each item by holding down the Shift key and then click OK. Now, by right-clicking on the dashboard, I can do a 2x2 two two analysis on the entire group. My outcome is still ill. However, in Exposure, I can use my Foods group and click Run. And now I have a 2x2 two two analysis on every food in the group. Not only do I have ham, but lettuce, and mayonnaise, and all the other items. In addition to that, I also have a summary at the very top left. I can click on the top of each column and it'll sort the items for me. Now I can see that in addition to lettuce, both tomato and onion have odds ratios greater than one. We have three foods that are candidates as the vehicle for the illness. Thanks for watching and you'll get more detail from future user support videos.